Hi there, my name's Vince from My Mate Vince and in this video today it's me versus this kitchen tap here. So I've got a long list of things to do in the house, so on some of them I'm just grabbing the camera and just filming it to see if it will help other people in the future. So this has been leaking for a long time now. It's not leaking from here, it's leaking from the neck. So if you have a look, can you see all this water building up here? And if I was to completely clean it and then turn it on, you will now see bit by bit it will start to leak again and then what happens is it runs down and it runs down here and causes staining so you can see now that again we've got water built up yeah here it comes so now this should be a nice easy one so let me get my tripod out and let's fix this So first things first, we have to turn off the water feeding these taps here. So luckily for me, I've got two little isolation valves underneath the sink. I've got that one over there for the hot, and there's another one just down in there for the cold. So uh, I just need to get a screwdriver and I just need to turn it so it's not in line anymore. So I'll try and do this one handed. So if you have a look there at the screw, you can see there it's in line top to bottom. So if I work my way in here and turn it, is it gonna turn? Yes, it is, excellent. Now, everything you see in this video here is real life. So if something goes wrong, you will see it. Right, okay, and I've got another one over here. Okay, apologies for the bad angle, but just do that one across as well. There we go. Right, they should now both be off. Let's just check that. Excellent, so now I can work on that without worry about uh, all the water flying up. Now, I can feel around the back here that there's a hole. We're gonna have to undo whatever it is in there to then pull out the whole neck of the tap itself. So if we get ourselves a mirror, then I can now see, if we zoom in here, that that is a crosshead screw, a Phillips screw. So I'm gonna get a little bit for that and let's undo it. Okay, well that came out nice and uh, nice and easy. I was expecting that to be seized. Right, okay, it's undone, but yet it doesn't want to come out. But hopefully now I can uh, take this out here. Right, so we're off, so no water should be coming out. So now I need to work this up. That was incredibly easy. There we go. Now, if you find that your tap's dripping, it might well be because the cartridge is in here. With these ones here, they're like a quarter turn, so they go completely off to completely on in just a quarter of a turn. So they're different than the taps years ago that used to use a little rubber washer. These are like ceramic discs in here. So uh, if you find that your tap's leaking, as in it's dripping out of here, then it could mean that the, uh, well, it will probably mean that the cartridge itself has failed or it needs cleaning, so it might be scaled up. Right, uh, if that is the case, then what you can normally do with these is you can normally pull these, uh, pull these out. There we go like so, and they just sort of push in. Same way as if, for example, they're not lined up properly, you can change these, do you see what I mean? You can put it in here, and then it will be a quarter turn up, like that to the top. Okay, so now the thing that's gone is gonna be this rubber washer here. So it just wears after swiveling left and right for all the years that it's been in place. Oh, the little screw's fallen out. Oh, top tip. Put in the plug, because if you drop this down there, you're gonna have a heartache. Also do it on the other side as well, if you've got a double sink or one and a half sink as well. Uh, so you can see now, this was a little screw that's just come out the back here. So what we need to do is we need to replace this washer here. So I've got a little rubber O-ring kit here, so let's see if I can find one that's suitable. So let's just use a little screwdriver to uh, take the old one out. Right, so I suppose what's happened is it's just worn down along the edge here and now the water's letting by when it's under pressure. Now 
Now obviously if you knew the make of your tap, you would be able to buy replacements online, but I'm just gonna match up one that looks like the right size. Right, well I'm thinking that's going to work there. It's a nice thick one. This is 13 millimeters by three millimeters. It is smaller in diameter than that one there, but they stretch. I think that's going to work just fine. If not, I can always replace it again. You see how easy it is to do. So now at the back of the tap, we have to line up the tiny little hole that the screw came out of. You can see you've got these little sort of nylon washer things here. So I'm gonna line that up in line with the back here because that's what the screw is actually gonna screw into after it goes through the uh, body of the tap. Okay, so I'm just gonna line those both up. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of lubricant on that. Well, I've got this in the house here, it's just WD-40, but it's the silicon lubricant version. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the rubber so that then when we put it into here, it won't kind of roll up on itself. It will hopefully slide, uh, slide in. And here goes. So I've got the screw little hole lined up there. That lined up at the back. And I'm just gonna wiggle it left and right so it finds its home. I think, I think that's it. Doesn't seem to wanna go down anymore. Let's see if I can do the screw up. Yes, I can. Yeah, I thought it wasn't going in, but it is. Right, okay, so that's done up now. Right, it's definitely harder to swivel left and right, but I presume that will loosen up over, over time. Uh, maybe because the rubber O-ring's a little bit on the big side, that it makes it a little bit harder, but you can still move it. Right, let's turn on the valves underneath. Right, so I'm just moving them so they're in line again with the pipe work. Okay, they're done. Now, time for the big turn on. So let's uh, clean this up here. And let's see if it's gonna leak now. Right, good news is the leaking stopped from here, but can you now see I've got a drip coming down here? It did drip from there beforehand. I thought it was leaking from here down to here, but it looks like we've got a separate leak in there. So we're gonna have to see what's going on there. Right, let me turn them both off. Okay, so they should be okay to work on now. Let's take off this here. Whoa. I wonder where it's leaking from. I think it's leaking from here. I've just seen a drip come out of here. You see where this circlip is? Yeah, look. Watch, watch me clean it here now, yeah? Now watch it build up. You see? It's coming from there, isn't it? Yeah, it's coming from there. Let me try to get this uh, clip off. Again, I've got my uh, plug in the sink. Now, I wonder if that's supposed to come out or what's that supposed to do? Do you know what? I probably need a new cartridge. Let me get some spanners and see if I can undo this. Well, I presume it's this one here. There we go. Right, 
Right, that was just the leftover bits. So here we have it. And there you can see the little sort of ceramic valve on the inside. Right, so we do have an O-ring there, but I don't think it was leaking from there. I think it was leaking internally. I don't think this is going to be fixable because this middle bit's not going to come out, is it? Now, looking closely at this, I don't think that this is a fixable part. I think it's designed to be replaceable because it's leaking from the inside here. Now, luckily, you can easily get them. You can see here, this has got the blue washer for the cold one. You buy them in pairs and they come with a blue washer and a red washer, presumably because they might maybe turn different ways, you know, because they're kind of opposites. I haven't actually checked that out. But anyway, uh, I can get them here for £4.68 from a tool station. So that's exactly what I've done. I've ordered up some of these. I've ordered up the eight millimeter spline height I'm not sure how important that's going to be because in here, these particular ones that I've got don't screw in. These ones come with a screw, but mine's just like a sort of pressure fit into this plastic washer in here. And it looks like it goes past in there anyway. So whether I got the 8mm ones or, for example, the 10.5mm ones, I don't think it would make much difference. Apparently, these ones here have 20 teeth on the spline. I've counted mine, and mine has 20 teeth as well. And it's half inch because it's a kitchen tap. If it was a bathroom basin, it would probably also be half inch. And if it was a bath itself, it would probably be three quarters quarter inch so I think hopefully these will be the ones looking on the tool station it looks like they only have a few so I'm pretty sure they're kind of a, a standard part but anyway I'm going to buy these they're only £4.68 and well I've already bought them I just need to collect them I'm going to change both of them over because then it's kind of like giving my tap a service and hopefully then it will last for many years to come if one of them's failed the chances are the other one's not going to be too far behind it even though the cold tap would be getting more used than the hot tap maybe it's only going to last another few months so I'm going to change them both while I've got it apart right so here they are and good news is I think it's going to be just fine so if you look there it's going to screw in to there and you can see that the height once I take that screw out is pretty much exactly the same so let's take the screw out so this is the cold side here I just want to see if they are keyed so when this is up that way it's closed and when it's down that way it's opened so up closed up closed so if it was this way up would be open yeah so they are keyed for uh, left and right now okay i just need to put that in there it is going to seal with the rubber o-ring there but what i'm going to do is just put a tiny little bit of this stuff on this is a lsx and this stuff doesn't actually set so uh i'm just going to put a little bit around here I think that will do. Right, lefty loosey, righty tighty, as we're looking at it. So we need to go to the right now, which is clockwise. There we go, that one's done. Now let's do this one here. And lefty loosey as you look at it, so uh, I need to go anti clockwise, counter clockwise. There we go. And actually, looking at this one here, it does look a lot cleaner than the one we took off. Can you see there's no scale build up on this one? So it looks like this one was doing the leaking. This is probably fine, but I might as well replace it now that uh, they come in pairs. I'm just going to clean away a little bit of the lime scale. just supporting the tap as I'm tightening it up and take the screw out right so let's put it both in the off position so that's going to be up that way and now I should be able to put these back on 
is cold. Let me just make sure that that is correct. Yep. Now, annoyingly with this one here, it's not quite the same. So this is perfectly upright and that goes down nice. With this one, it's a bit past upright. But yet, if I put it onto the next one, the next spline along, then it's uh, it's slightly it's slightly below upright, which is uh, a bit annoying. So that's fully there. Yeah, that's a bit annoying, that. I don't think it was like that before. Yeah, so it's either there, although there's 20 connections for it, it's either there or there. I think I'm going to put it there. Okay, time to turn it on at the valves. Right, they're turned on now. Let the water come through. Fantastic, now I'm gonna give it a good clean up and we'll see whether or not we have any leaks. So this is what I'm gonna use here, Silit Bang Lime Scale Remover. So next time you see this, it'd be nice and sparkly again. I'm all done and the leak has now stopped and the tap's looking a lot better than it did. It's still not perfect, but this tap now is around about 10 years old. So hopefully it might last for another 10 years now that both of the valves have been changed over and the washer. So if you have a look now, you can see that at the moment we are dry. And if I turn it on, well, that's going to splash up anyway. Let me lower that, that one down. And now let me move that to there, to there. And if we have a look, you can see now that we haven't got any water build up here. This is still nice and dry. And also underneath it, forget about the little splashes, they're just splashes that came up. But if you have a look here now, if I go underneath here, you can see it's dry and dry. So fantastic, very, very happy with that. So altogether, apart from a little bit of work, and to be honest, it wasn't hard work at all, uh, maybe around about five UK pounds was spent between the uh, both valves and the washer. So what's that, about six euros, seven US dollars, not a huge amount of money. And it saves you having to buy a new tap. And it's not just the money that you save, it's also uh, good to not have this, uh, although it's gonna be recycled, it's still wasteful, isn't it, when you can fix what you've already got. But for me, that is one more ticked off the list, which is good because this list is long. Anyway, take care everyone and I will see you all very soon. Mm -hmm.